there is a place in Christ where disease has no power. There is a place in Christ where old aging has no influence on the human body. There is a place in Christ where afflictions have zero influence on the human body. It is the place of Holy Communion. It's when you receive Holy Communion according to revelatory knowledge you would advance your body you would increase your body you would migrate and influence and teleport your body from the place of corruption afflictions disease and sickness to the place of divine health divine restoration divine healing and of course the perfecting of the body Once upon a time, 2,000 years plus ago, there was a man called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He walked the face of the earth. He lived like every other human. But he came in a body that had no sin. A body that was protected and preserved from afflictions and disease in the body. And then that body was broken for us. The body was torn into pieces for us. The body became our meal. The body of Christ became our food in order to partake of his divine health. Tell someone health is yours. So they say, health is yours. When we partake of the body of Christ, we are lifted above the place of corruption. We, we, we are not afraid of the disease in the atmosphere. We're not afraid of the afflictions of Egyptians. We're not citizens of Egypt. We've come out of Egypt. We are citizens of Zion. In Zion, there is no disease. In Zion, there is no affliction. There is no disease. So when we partake of the body of Christ, every hold of disease in our body is broken and every legal hold of affliction in our DNA is abolished because of the blood and body of Jesus. No foul devil has a right to afflict your body. And every cancer or cell must die. Every inordinate affection, whatever it is that Satan has planted into your body, by the power of the Holy Ghost, through the mysterious intake of the body and the blood of Jesus, every foul devil of affliction will be broken today. And you will come out free in Jesus' mighty name. When Jesus hung on that cross, he paid everything necessary for your bodily recovery. I hate sickness. And we have come to a point that we must begin to realize that we should not be requesting for healing any further. I'm tired of healing. I know it's tough right now. Oh, Brother John, what are they talking about? Yes, I'm tired of healing. Stop getting sick. God, it takes the sick to be healed. Healing is not for you, healing is for unbelievers. 
If you take the body of Christ, if you drink the blood of Jesus, you don't get sick. When Jesus hung on that cross, he destroyed the legal right of affliction. When you believed in Jesus and Jesus came into your spirit, disease, sicknesses lost their legality against you. And when you came into Christ, the blood of Jesus and the body of Christ are your insurance of health. Your health has been insured. Your health has been guaranteed. So I have an insurance of heaven for my health, for my body. So because I have the insurance of heaven for my body. Jesus is the insurance. When he hung on that cross, he insured your health. So God will maintain your health. He's the one that maintains you. He, he, and God, he guarantees that your health is maintained and, 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 and that you are preserved from every affliction. And I have a word for somebody here this morning. The Lord says that affliction will not return the second time. I don't know who you are, but God says affliction will not return the second time, says the Lord. Can I hear louder say amen, sons of God? Loudest amen, sons of God. Sickness has no power on your body. Disease has no power on your body. When I speak of disease and afflictions, I've been through a lot of them. I've been through heart condition. So understand that I know exactly. For you, some of you will say, oh, I don't care. I pray you don't go through one. <laughs> I've been through a lot. So when I speak of healing and restoration of the body, I'm speaking out of experience. There are people right now who are in the hospital are waiting to pass on. The doctors have given up on their lives. Some are on medication morning, day and night. So take this seriously. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to come to a point of needing divine intervention to know that God wants you to receive it right now. Always be ahead of the devil. Sickness has no power on your body. Sickness has no power on your children. Sickness has no power in your intestine. Sickness has no power in your kidneys. In the name of Jesus the Christ. If you believe it, give the Lord a shout of praise in the house of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Isaiah chapter 53 verse number 5 But he was wounded for our transgressions He was bruised for our iniquities The chastisement of our peace was upon him And with his stripes <laughs> we are healed Elisha Zavahidat Shout hallelujah sons of God Now I want you to say it with every conviction of your spirit Say with every Strain in your heart by his stripes. I am healed in the name of Jesus the Christ. By the stripes of Christ, my children are healed, my mom is healed, my father is healed, brothers are healed, 
sick to say healed in the name of Jesus the Christ. Shout three loudest amen to that. Two and three. Give Jesus a shout of praise. You will be seated. God bless you. What Jesus did on Calvary is not in vain. It is a disappointment if the body of Christ does not fight the good fight of faith to enforce and take advantage of what Jesus handled, paid for. It's been paid for. I don't need any religious humility. Keep your religious humility. Jesus paid for your healing. Listen, he didn't pay for it yesterday. You didn't get that. He paid for it 2,000 years ago. So when it comes to your healing, it has been settled. Even before your great, 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 great grand parent were even thoughts of being conceived. Jesus settled your health. Jesus paid for your healing. He paid for the restoration of your health. Not just for your health, for your brother, your sister, your mom, your parent, your children. Come on. Your sixes, everybody that's connected to you. Repeat after me say, I generate, I generate healing power from my belly to clean up every disease in my body. As I drink the body of Jesus, as I drink the blood of Jesus, and as I eat the body of Christ, my body will come to life. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I am incorruptible by the power of the mysterious walk of Calvary in Jesus' mighty name. Loudest amen like a thunder. Listen, this is not a religious statement. This is a reality. When that man hung on that Calvary, he wasn't playing. I refuse to die. I don't know about you. You can be religious. That's okay. I refuse to be sick. My kidneys are supernatural. Insured supernaturally. Come on, I, I tell you, my kidneys are insured, brothers and sisters. My liver, all my organs are insured by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the brokenness of the body of Christ. I generate divine health. I generate divine oil that preserves every organ of my body. I don't know heart failure. I don't know kidney failure. I don't know failures of any organ of my body. My bones are active. Hallelujah. I am vitalized. I am revitalized. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Loud the seven amen. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. Give Jesus a shout of praise in the house of the Lord. He deserves it. Glory to God.